afternoon, President Trump just arrived in North Carolina. This is a live look at Air Force One at RDU. President Trump right there, as you can see him, already made his way down the stairs. He is here to check out a facility that makes components for a possible COVID-19 vaccine. Now, from RDU, he will then head to Mooresville. That'll take about 20 or 30 minutes. Now, he's going to tour the Fujifilm Biosynth Biotechnology Center. The president's been pushing to speed up the vaccine process. Right now, companies and universities all over the country are working on different projects connected to creating a vaccine. Now, the process to create a vaccine usually takes years, and they're now trying to compress it down to several weeks. Now, the vaccine they're working on at this local lab is already in phase one testing. It could move to phase two testing next month. Now, once the tour starts, we will bring you that live here on CBS 17, CBS 17 as well as all of our digital platforms, including CBS 17's news app. And you can see he's greeting some of the people that are there on the ground, people taking pictures. Um, again, he will make his way to that Morrisville laboratory where they're making a key component for a COVID-19 vaccine. It'll take him between 20 or 30 minutes to get there. Uh, President Trump now getting inside that vehicle. Uh, we will bring that, in, that, we will bring it to you live when he arrives there. And of course, we will have live team coverage of the president's visit in our newscast starting at five o'clock but we'll have much more on this. That's the facility he's headed to in Morrisville, about 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, of course, we'll let you know when he gets there and what happens after. We'll see you here. Well, we're going to have team coverage uh, of uh, the president's visit. This is his 10th visit to the state of North Carolina. We have uh, Michael Hyland will be there, as well as Colleen Quigley will be um, at these facilities, giving us the very latest on the president's visit to North Carolina. And Michael Hyland is there on the tarmac. He was there when the president landed in Air Force One. Uh, Michael, what's it like out there right now? There were, as they start to take off from here, there were several members, uh, high-ranking members of the Republican Party here in North Carolina who were here to greet the president when he arrived here. We saw Speaker of the House Tim Moore, Senate Leader Phil Berger, Lieutenant Governor Dan Forrest, who's running for governor this year, as well as Congressman Mark Walker. Uh, the president was also joined by some of the uh, members of North Carolina's delegation who you saw coming down the stairs uh, off of Air Force One traveling here from D.C. They're heading here around airport, Air Force One now, and we'll be heading off to uh, the Fujifilm Biotech Center to take a closer look at the critical role North Carolina could be playing in developing this vaccine that if it is successful is going to have a dramatic effect on all of our lives if they can actually pull off. This is a tremendous gamble that the government is making providing 1.6 billion dollars to Novavax to try to accelerate this process through Operation Warp Speed and North Carolina could play a critical role in that happening. Reporting live at RDU, I'm Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News. Michael, thank you so much. Our Colleen Quigley is, will also be in Morrisville when the uh, president arrives there. All right, important to note, though, as the president does make his way to that facility, traffic will be impacted. If you have plans to be out and about, just sort of avoid the area in that Morrisville where that laboratory is. We will have much more complete coverage coming up tonight at 5 and 6 o'clock and also on CBS17.com and our news app.